So you're new to real estate investing and you're wondering, you're having conversations with potentially motivated sellers, but you don't know the exact questions to ask and how to phrase them, the tonality to use, everything in between. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm gonna go over how to ask the questions, what questions to ask, and how to make sure that you're actually talking to a motivated seller. And we're gonna keep it short and sweet. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button down below if you enjoy the content, and let's jump into it. So the first question to ask to get the conversation rolling, don't immediately dive into condition on the property or how many bedrooms, bathrooms it is. It sounds too scripted. What you first want to do to get their feeling, and it depends on if it's an inbound or outbound lead, but typically for these, I'm talking about outbound leads, cold calling prospects, what you want to say is this. Mr. or Mrs. Seller, just to get the conversation started, just so I have a little bit clear idea on what you're looking for, I guess, can you bring me up to speed on why you're even like considering selling this place? Now with that, you heard the change in tonality. You heard the, the change in speed in my voice, the inflection in my voice. It wasn't just like, so Mr. and Mrs. Seller, just so I have a clear understanding on what's going on, uh, can you bring me up to speed on why you're selling this place? That's completely monotone. That's not going to get them to peel back the onions per se and give you the details that you're looking for. After they start divulging a little bit more information or they start handing you a little bit more ammunition to use throughout the conversation, what you then want to transition to is diving deeper into the emotional reasons they want to sell. So for example, say it's an eviction scenario, the tenant was there for five years, they trashed the property, so on and so forth. What you're going to do instead of saying, yep, I totally understand and completely transitioning off topic, you're going to tell them, man, and it sounds like it was a pretty good rental for you, like prior to these tenants getting in there or, or what went wrong? And then have them divulge even more information on the topic at hand. Like, why, like, is there a reason the the tenants, like, quit paying? And just have that open mind, have that curiosity, and have that inflection in your voice that you actually, first off, you care, you wanna solve their problem, but you wanna dive deeper into the emotional reasons that they are wanting to sell, not completely transitioning off topic and being like, Hey, I totally understand we've helped owners in the past. I guess, what are you looking to sell this place for? You completely missed the emotional question at hand. It absolutely helps to record your calls, to figure out when you're missing these things, when you're catching on to these things, and you will become more and more successful. So the next question, after you ask all these things, after you dive in a little bit deeper, fact find a little bit more, you wanna use this exact word tract. Now, most of us are dealing with sellers who may or may not have a mortgage, but we're not gonna come out and directly ask them, so what's owed on the mortgage? Instead, what you're going to use is the word tract of, so Mr. and Mrs. Seller, it, it sounds like something we might be interested in, and if we were to provide you an offer on the property, I guess would would we need to pay off like any taxes, insurance, liens, judgments, mortgage, or anything like that? And then they might answer, uh, yeah, I, I have some like taxes that I owe have a mortgage. Awesome, yeah, like what's owed on that? What would we need to pay off? Then you're going to nonchalantly ask them for the balance. And if they give you any sort of pushback on this, which I highly doubt that'll be the case because you're gonna have that upwards inflection and you're gonna say it with a smile on your face, even if you're over the phone, 90% of the time the owner isn't going to hesitate or they might be like, ah, I'm not really sure. Well, if you had to take your best guess, what do you, what do you think would be owed? And you're gonna say it again with a smile on your face and say, instead of saying, well, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, like what, what would we need to pay off on the place? Well, what would be your best guess? And you can hear the difference in the tonality of my voice. So that is a gold nugget for you. Utilize it, you will have success. Now lastly, before we wrap up this video, let's say everything sounds good up until that point. You deep dived into the questions that I went over. Now what we're gonna do is wrap it up with an appointment. And it's gonna sound a little like this. Mr. and Mrs. Seller, this does sound like something that we would be interested in. I guess the next steps from here, and this is our process, the next steps from here would be to schedule a time to have myself or one of the team members walk through generally takes about 10 to 30 minutes depending upon how big the place is but I guess are, are you guys more of a like a morning afternoon evening person for setting something like that up then they're gonna say ah, morning afternoon evening whatever's best awesome we'll pretend that it's the morning in this case awesome mr. And Ms. seller that that works great for me I either I'm looking at my schedule right now it's Tuesday um, I have a, a Wednesday 
at 10 a.m. available or a Thursday at 9, uh, which one of those would work better for you? You're going to give them two options, always two options on two separate days, and you're going to schedule the appointment like that just so they don't back out, so they don't retract, so their mind doesn't run through, oh my gosh, I have a million things going on on Tuesday. But if you say, are you more of a morning, afternoon, evening person? segments it down, then you give them two separate times so they're not scatterbrained and then they push off the appointment to a later date. So best of luck, again, hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the content. Watch our other videos right here on how we market for these deals and I'll see you in the next one.